All right. So you're back. I'm back. And there's a smile on my face. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. I like I I'm like laughing that. because I cannot believe somebody put out a song so bad. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I Don't ever show song. your face in England, man. They're going to kick your yeah. ass. <laughs> You're not eating lunch in this town again, or dinner, or breakfast. Hey, you're watching Into the Music. I'm Chris. I'm here with my buddy Greg, and Greg, once again, has a song for me to react to. I'm hoping it's good. The only one I know by the Charlatans. Go ahead and come the back. The only and song know you know you by the Charlatans? The only song I know. Uh, called The Only One I Know. So, oh. Charlton's, go check it out. I mean, that's what you want, right? No information, no nothing, just, you know. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to know that it's music I'm listening to. All right. I'm on my way. sound uh not the same of course as their own but similar sound to uh deep purple song hush and uh, even it got that organ sound going that's similar to that i'd go back to that beginning of that bass part
that song just flew by. Wow. Um, <clears throat> yeah, everybody's been burned before. Everybody knows the pain. Um, this I really like this band. Um, well, I like this song. I'm curious to hear what, what else they've got. So this is another good one. Okay, I'm glad I'm being introduced to this stuff. All right, so you're back. I'm back. And there's a smile on my face. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. I like I I'm like laughing that. because I cannot believe somebody put out a song so bad. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I Don't ever show song. your face in England, man. They're going to kick your yeah. ass. <laughs> You're not eating lunch in this town again or dinner or breakfast. All right. So I love this song. I really did. Yeah. Um, it reminded, it did remind me, uh, and I mentioned this in the reaction of the Deep Purple song, Hush. Um, now it had that organ, which was going, and, and I'm not taking away from the charlatans at all. No, but you blew then my it, mind. Wait, then again, then again. I'll, let, I'll let you finish, dude. but you blew my mind though. I okay, actually dude, never thought about again, that. They're charlatans. So <laughs> yeah, so it's... Maybe faking and, uh, yeah. you know, and taking from... You'd no, be I, shocked no, that they I, actually didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm joking. Th this song stood on its own. And yeah. um, I love the melody. It just uh, it was very uplifting. Yeah, it was the whole song. The, the everything in it. I loved everything in this. Um, I can't. I, I just have nothing but good to say about it. I, I love this song. This is. This will go. This will definitely go on a personal playlist. I could see this. I could see this raising my spirits every time I hear it. Thirty years ago. Thirty years ago, I heard this. Thirty song. years ago today, I fell in love with the song. You know. That said, oh, I thought this was new to you. Also, no, well, the Charlatans, no, 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 no. Oh, now the Charlatans, it's interesting though. It's interesting though. Since we started doing um, uh, the Stone Roses and the Smiths, I think especially the Stone Roses and some other bands, right? You know, we we've done a lot of English bands, right? And every in some comments here and there, you know, they're dropping the Charlatans, the Charlatans, and that kind of shocked me and surprised me. Oh wait, this is a request, right? No, no. I always had the song down as one that you were going to listen to from oh, me. Okay. Okay. And yet by seeing the Charlatans, the Charlatans, 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 <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Leopold, <laughs> sorry. And, and really like, oh, wow, because I thought they were one hit wonder. Back then in 1990, when I was like into the new wave slash. I don't even music, know what that one hit would be. Because I don't know them. Uh, this is the first song I've ever. The heard. only one I know. Right. I thought it was their one hit. Yeah, exactly. So you didn't know, but I just chalked it up to, you know, because I never really heard from them since uh -huh. since that album, right? And so right. that song, and so and at that time, I mean, I was into like you know, Sushi and the Banshees and the Cult and Ned's Atomic Dustbin, you know, all, all these sort of new wave slash alternative rock bands yeah. that were around at that time, that you know, um, and but they kind of like. I'm like what happened to the Charl Charlton? So, you know, years go by, years go by, but I would right. always, you know, that song would sort of make it on my turnstile kind of thing. You know, I would hear it and I just, I love that. I would always gravitate to that song, you know, every once in a while. So um, it's an oldie but goodie for me. Um, but then I'm seeing the Charlton's in the comments and I'm thinking, wow, I think that maybe they're still relevant. So when I gave you the, the song, I did some homework and like, it seems like they have been around for a while. Um, they have 13 studio albums, you know. Um, they, okay, that's a lot different than what you thought. Okay. Yeah, you know. So what year did this come out? 1990. 1990. 1990. 30 years, 30 years ago. I'm, I'm kind of surprised it came out in 90. I would think thought mid to late 90s. But yeah, yeah. But I really, I did really like that. Even with the way they recorded the vocals with uh, more reverb. I know we've been saying that a lot with our reviews lately, but yeah, um, it had a certain sound in the vocals, the, the way the vocals were recorded, that was kind of harking back to um, a 60s kind of sound. Has a little bit of the sound of the lead singer in the Stone Roses, right? Has that kind of sort of distant sort I, of sound? I think so. Yeah. A little bit, but right? That's the way I think it was recorded rather than, Yeah, I, I don't think the voices i'd have to listen to them again i'm not saying the voice you know the voices sound the same but i'm i think just in start it's just the quality um, of the sound the, the quality work. of the sound you know production yeah. wise you know maybe they were sure. trying to go for that um and i don't know i think the stone roses may have came come first you know with with that first album that we've been talking about but anyway but this song stands on its own this band this this sure. song is like 
you know, the bass, do, 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 you know, and, and the, that whole, the, the drum style, you know, the, uh, the drum riff, whatever that, you know, that, that goes yeah, to it. Yeah, I had a lot of energy. The Very keyboards, up. yeah, the energy is so, uh, it's so contagious, right? You know, it's like, boom, you know, and, um, and also as, you know, at that age, right? I mean, I was still like, I guess in my 20s or so, right? And still trying to figure things out. Now? Loved, and trying to, what? Now? <laughs> no, I figure things out now. But back then, you know, when you're kind of still dating, you're still trying to find, you know, what is love? You know, what is love? Um, um, and uh, these words, I mean, I couldn't really tell you all the lyrics even to this day, but these words, um, everyone has been burned before everyone knows the pain and it's like those yeah. those two lines right there that you can like really you know that stand out they they just stand out you know and mm -hmm. i just would just latch on to them and be like yeah you know been burned before feeling the pain you know and you can but just... even given that it's still a very upbeat song it, it's not like you think about that and then it takes away the mood to me yeah you know, you know maybe he's saying hey you know you know been burned before been through that you know let's rock out you know well, i'm is, gonna find another is, love yeah this is another one to me where they could have had different lyrics and the music would have still been good they could have done an instrumental and had yeah. an instrument playing the the melody and i oh it would still feel uplifting and good to me so now i am i'm intrigued now about you know the rest of the catalog you know that they yeah. accumulated over the years i yeah. mean 13 studio studio albums all of them charting in the top 40 of the uk albums chart with three of them being in the number one so uh That's they've got popular. yeah we, yeah we yeah i guess um, you did miss that one well like you're saying you were listening to a lot of other stuff at the time so. you know there's another band too that's been dropped here in the comments called elbow and yes i saw that yeah yeah and it, I, there's, there were also a couple songs that I had on my original list. And so again, seeing that band. So this is kind of cool. Like there's all these connections here. Mm -hmm. And I bring that band up too, because um, that to me is, seems like another like English band that has done very well in the UK, but you know, not so much here, you know, except for guys like me, mm -hmm. you know, um, that I just love that sound, you know? So uh, right. um, yeah, cool. I'm really glad you like this, man. Excellent. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. And good it's going work. right on your playlist and right at the top of your playlist. Right? In fact, I'm going to go do it now. We're going to have to cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, take us out. All right. Um, thanks for watching, as always. And uh, hit that like button if you like it. And hit subscribe if you haven't yet. And we'll see you next time on Into the Music. See ya.